SAPC underscore ABAPD underscore 2507 exam practice questions and with explanations are available in the video for you to study. In the context of the ABAP RESTful Application Programming Model, RAP, which object is used to define the UI specific arrangement and properties of fields for an application? A. Data model view. B. Metadata extension. C. Service definition. D. Projection view. The answer is B. In RAP, metadata extension objects, MDEXT, are used to define UI annotations for fields in an entity. These annotations control how data is presented in the front end, e.g., labels, positions, input behavior, making it the right tool for organizing field display in Fiori based apps. Data model view refers to CD's views like entity definitions. Service definition is used to expose entities in services. Projection view customizes the data exposure but doesn't organize UI field display. In ABAP SQL arithmetic expressions, which of the following restrictions apply when combining data types in calculations? Note, there are two correct answers. A. Floating point types and integer types cannot be used together in the same expression. B. The division operator is allowed only in floating point expressions. C. Decimal types and integer types cannot be used together in the same expression. D. The modulus operator, mod, is allowed only in integer expressions. The answer is C. D. C is correct. In ABAP SQL, decimal and integer types cannot be mixed directly in the same arithmetic expression due to type safety rules in SQL. You must cast them explicitly to a common type. D is correct. The mod, modulus, operator is only valid when used with integer operands. It cannot be used with floating point or decimal types. A is incorrect. ABAP SQL allows floating point and integer types together in expressions, but results may be cast depending on the operation. B is incorrect. The division operator is not restricted to floating point expressions. It can be used with other numeric types, though results vary depending on types used. According to SAP's Clean Core Extensibility Strategy, which type of extensibility is recommended for enhancing the existing UI of an SAP Fiori app? A. Key User B. Classic C. Side-by-Side -side. D. Developer The answer is A. Key user extensibility is the SAP recommended approach for enhancing SAP Fiori apps within the Clean Core philosophy. It enables business users, not developers, to adapt UI elements using tools like the UI Adaptation Editor, all without changing the underlying source code. Classic extensibility, B involves modifications to the underlying code and is discouraged in clean core. Side-by-side -side extensibility, C, is for creating custom applications on SAP BTP but not directly enhancing the Fiori UI. Developer extensibility, D, is suitable for cloud-compliant custom code in ABAP Cloud but it's more complex and not intended just for simple UI enhancements. In ABAP internal tables, 
Which of the following statements correctly describe the behavior of a unique secondary key? Note. There are two correct answers. A. It is created when the internal table is initially filled. B. It is updated when the modified table is read again. C. It is created during the first read access using that key. D. It is updated automatically when the internal table is modified. The answer is CD. C is correct. Secondary keys in ABAP internal tables are lazily created, meaning they are built the first time the key is used for a read operation. D is correct. Once created, a secondary key, including unique keys, is automatically updated whenever the internal table is changed. Insert, delete, update. A is incorrect. The secondary key is not created just by filling the table. It's only created when used. B is incorrect. The key doesn't get recreated or updated only when the table is read. It's maintained whenever the table changes after it has been used. When defining a new database table in a BAP dictionary, which of the following elements are part of the table definition? Note. There are two correct answers. A. Partitioning attributes. B. Extension. C. Semantic table attributes. D. Field list. The answer is CD. C is correct. Semantic table attributes include metadata like delivery class, data class, buffering options, and logging behavior. These define how the table behaves within the system and database. D is correct. The field list defines the structure of the table, its columns, data types, key fields, etc. It is an essential part of any database table definition. A is incorrect. Partitioning attributes are only relevant for very specific, large-scale database scenarios, e.g., SAP HANA partitioning, and are not part of standard table definition in ABAP dictionary. B is incorrect. Extension refers to the enhancement of existing tables, e.g., append structures, not to the definition of a new table. Which of the following are key features of core data services, CDs, in ABAP for defining and enhancing data models? Note, there are three correct answers. A. Inheritance B. Associations C. Annotations D. Delegation E. Structured Query Language, SQL the answer is BCE. B. Associations. CD's views allow you to define associations between entities, representing relationships like joins in a semantic, declarative way. C. Annotations. Annotations in CDs are used to enrich models with metadata for UI, O data exposure, authorization, and more. E. Structured Query Language, SQL. CDs uses a declarative syntax similar to SQL, specifically OpenSQL, extended with additional modeling features like associations and expressions. A. Inheritance. Classical object-oriented inheritance is not a feature of CDs. CDs does not support inheritance of views like classes do. D. Delegation. Delegation is not a concept used in CDs view definitions. It's more relevant in ABAP object-oriented programming.
What is the primary purpose of defining a foreign key relationship between two tables in the ABAP dictionary? A. To document the relationship between the two tables. B. To ensure the integrity of data in the corresponding database tables. C. To create a corresponding foreign key relationship in the database. The answer is B. B is correct. The main purpose of a foreign key in the ABAP dictionary is to enforce referential integrity. It ensures that a field, or combination of fields, in the foreign key table only contains values that exist in the primary key of the check table. A is incorrect. While foreign keys help document relationships, documentation is not the primary function. C is incorrect. Foreign key definitions in ABAP dictionary do not automatically create foreign key constraints in the underlying database unless explicitly configured in HANA with CDs and annotations. Instead, they're used mainly for consistency checks, e.g., at runtime or in SE11 table maintenance views. According to SAP's performance recommendations, when should you use a hashed or sorted internal table type? Note, there are two correct answers. A. Use a hashed table when reading a single record with the complete key. B. Use a hashed table when reading multiple records in a loop with a partial key. From the left, no gaps. C. Use a sorted table when reading multiple records in a loop using a left-aligned partial key without gaps. D. Use a sorted table when reading a single record using non-key fields. The answer is A C. A is correct. Hashed tables are optimized for single record access using the full key. Access time is constant, O, 1, making them very efficient for such lookups. C is correct. Sorted tables allow efficient binary search based on left-aligned partial keys without gaps. They're ideal for loops or ranged selections using partial keys. B is incorrect. Hashed tables do not support partial key access or range selections. They require the complete key. D is incorrect. Sorted tables rely on key fields for efficient access. Reading by non-key fields is not optimized and negates the benefit of sorting. Given a superclass super and its subclass sub, which of the following rules apply to the constructor of the subclass sub? Note, there are two correct answers. A. The method signature of the constructor can be changed in the subclass. B. Import parameters can only be processed after calling the constructor of the superclass. C. The constructor of the superclass must be called before accessing any components of the subclass instance. D. Events of the subclass instance cannot be raised before registering an event handler in the superclass. The answer is A C. A is correct. The constructor method, constructor, signature in the subclass can be overloaded or extended with additional parameters, as long as the superclass constructor is properly called. C is correct. Before the subclass accesses its own attributes or methods, the constructor of the superclass must be called to ensure proper initialization of the inherited parts. B is incorrect. Import parameters can be processed before calling the superclass constructor, especially if needed to prepare arguments for the superclass. D is incorrect. 
Event raising and handler registration are independent. Events can be raised anytime, but handlers need to be registered to respond. There's no strict requirement to register handlers in the superclass before raising events in the subclass. In an access control object used for authorization checks, which of the following clauses are part of its definition? Note, there are three correct answers. A. Where, to specify the access conditions. B. Grant, to identify the data source. C. Return code, to assign the result of the authority check. D. Define role, to specify the role name. E. Revoke, to remove access to the data source. The answer is ABC. A WHERE clause is used to specify conditions under which access is granted or denied. B. Grant clause is used to define the authorization object or data source for which access is controlled. C. Return code is used to set the result of the check, e.g., success or failure. D. Define role is not part of the access control object syntax. Roles are managed separately in SAP authorization concepts. E. Revoke is not used in this context. Access control objects manage access roles, not direct revocation commands.